Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create wooden planks or wood in Photoshop. So let's get started by creating a new file, 1024 by 1024. Now we will pick a brown colour, or a brownish colour, something like that. Get the paint bucket tool, fill that. And now we'll create a new layer, change that to multiply. New layer, change that to screen. And we'll select a dark brown and a light brown. So this will be our dark brown. And this will be our light brown. So now we'll go to the multiply. We'll change to the lightest colour. We'll get the paintbrush out scale it up a bit and we'll just do some strokes going up just like that change the sizes every now and again and we'll do the same for the screen but this time we'll change to the darker colour I'm holding shift to keep it perfectly straight by the way. Now what we want to do is merge all these layers. Shift, select them all, control E to merge them. Now we want to go to filter, render, fibers. Zoom out. And as you can see it gives us a slight wooden texture already. So we'll just mess about with the values a bit till we get something we like. Just keep randomising it. Till you get something that you're happy with. This can take a while. I'm quite happy with that one. Okay, that's a bog standard simple wooden texture already. So now we'll start to add the planks in. So we will select a black, go to the paintbrush, scale it down ever so much, turn the grid on by pressing control and at. Now we'll start to, oh that's too thick down a bit more. There we go. Let's go up over the grid lines. Oops, make sure you don't do that. There we go. Now what we want to do is create another multiply and another screen layer and choose the dark brown and the light brown like we did before that's a dark now change to the light colour on the multiply and we'll start to add some highlights in so I want the shadow to be on the right Now we'll change to the screen, change to the darker colour and start adding the highlights. Zoom in a bit more. go now what we want to do actually we could make them pop out a bit more or we could have it like that I'm just gonna keep it like that for the time being actually I'm gonna make this one pop out a bit more just here 
actually now I'm going to keep how it are. Now, we'll select the marquee tool, go to this layer, and we'll select a portion of one of the planks, filter, distort, twirl, Now we'll twirl it ever so slightly. And we'll do the same here. Control F to repeat the last tool. Same here. 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 This just makes it look more natural. You can add these at any point you want, guys. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll flatten the image and we can mess with the values till we get something that we're happy with. Quite happy with that. <coughs> now we want to add a bit of grit to it. So we'll create a new layer and we will <coughs> filter, render, clouds and we'll go through these until we get something that looks alright. Quite happy with that. Now we'll delete some parts. Go look at the difference. Let's bump some more off. Oops. And there we go, that's a simple wooden plank texture. We could even add some nails in. I'm not very good at nails or anything like that, but we can give it a go. Don't expect anything amazing, guys. So we'll select the circle mark U tool. Go up here. And we'll fill that in with a black colour. Paint bucket. Fill that in. Now change to white. Get the paint brush. Change the brush size. And just add the highlight shadows on this side so we want it there actually let's change to that put that there get the white colour and put that there now we want to do is grab the smudge tool give it a smudge change the strength down a bit this is going absolutely terrible it looked a lot better on the previous one I did but yeah I shouldn't have tried to do the nails ah well Let's get rid of the nails. They look terrible. But yeah, that's a simple wooden planks texture, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this helped you. Goodbye.